Hello, this is Rainbow Rising Freedom. Welcome to my YouTube channel. These are channeled messages for Taurus or anyone who has Taurus anywhere in their chart. So the song that I was hearing was the ground beneath your feet. So I feel like someone really is about or wants to worship you and kiss the ground beneath your feet. So you are so precious to that person. You are holy. Maybe they want your forgiveness. Okay. You might have gone a lot um, with some fire sign who maybe played you and maybe breadcrumbed you and maybe had someone on their side and wasn't obviously honest about it. So I feel that can be it. So you might have a return of someone who wants to pro um, kiss the ground beneath your feet. But I feel like you're focused on your own development right now. So whatever decision you will make, um, you will definitely really think twice. And you will just, yeah, you no longer want to grieve. You no longer want to go through that pain again. So I feel like you will just be very careful with letting anyone into your life because you want to be appreciated. Okay. Anything else for Taurus? Yeah, so there might be someone who um, really wants to be uh, with you, wants their forever with you, and um, they might cl claim that they change, that some chapter in their life is, is behind them, right? They might want to take you out, celebrate with you, show you. Um, yeah, I feel it's something like, you went through so much turbulence uh, in that connection that you never actually experienced happiness in it. Ouch. So there's a lot of regret and um, gratitude that you survived. I feel like that person who we are talking, tapping into, talking about... Um, has gone through some hardship and you could have, yeah, they, they ask, they want your forgiveness. That's for sure. Whether you'll be with them or not, they want your forgiveness, Taurus. And I think they really appreciate you uh, sticking with them through something, through something. So you, they, they did, they never witnessed anyone behave so noble like you have. And they never would expect, yeah, I think they were deceived by many friends. That person was deceived by someone who thought was a friend. They weren't really a friend yet. They just really, they were diabolic. They were dark. They were just thinking about money. They sold them for money, maybe metaphorically. So there's some someone who was really, wow, I feel um, who was surrounded by hyenas and uh, some sort of hardship uh, made them realize that you are their light you are someone who they want to have a relationship with um, and i think they might accept any choice they are, they are really humbled by who you are who you showed them that you are I think they really think that you are a responsible soul. You care about others. You feel you are responsible for others. You take responsibility for others. You've proven that in the battlefield, I hear. And I think you showed them love in a way that nobody ever has. You showed them love by not giving up on them, okay? There was some sort of a research, something like that. And you... Yeah, mm. 
you change the way they look at things, I feel, because maybe they used to be um, surrounded by people who were focused on money, driven by money. Very uh, also irresponsible, okay? So you show them something genuine that they could see only in children, you know, that purity of the heart, I feel, that respect. And they really want to take the blame, Taurus. So whatever that is, this is like a heavy story, I feel. I feel like that person is free now. I don't know from what, but they are free from some part, some, some story. They are free now. And I feel like they want to, I hear, share the fruit of their labor with you, okay? So there's something that they want to share. They deeply respect you, Taurus, that you treated them well. You've proven yourself. You've proven your love for them. It's very touching. I feel that person is really touched. Uh, they, their voice might be shaking. And they really want to spend every day with you. They want to have a fresh start with you, Taurus. I think they, wow. They want to give you their everything. They love you more than they love themselves. This is something really special, Taurus. And something beyond any kind of classical romance, I feel. This is a connection tested by life, I feel. Wow. They want to return all the good things that you gave to them, that you showed them. And they really want your forgiveness. They don't they they don't want to walk away without expressing their truth to you, Taurus. That's what I feel. Anything else for Taurus? You're magnificent. You're a magnificent creator, Taurus. I feel like you know about this, and I feel like you really want to um, work with your connection with the earth. You might really like um, to practice grounding every day. You might really notice how very much it improves the quality of your life when you basically ground every day. You are really tapping into your power every day. You want to spend your life in freedom, I feel. I feel like you crave financial freedom here, Taurus. And yes, you very much want to be a creator of your own prosperity, right? So you don't necessarily want to be employed or approved by anyone. I think you realize that potency the the abilities that you have and you know that you can monetize that that's for sure you're just maybe not sure what sequence something about like you might you might have a few ideas and you might have to make something a priority so you i think you are still figuring this one out mm. You might work with flowers, you might like gardening, you might have a good connection, maybe spiritual connection with flowers, with plants. Plants can be your guides, Taurus. Wow, you really want to protect the land. And I feel like you're really called to li live an eco-friendly lifestyle. Like you want to make products, create products, you even want the process to be eco-friendly. So you really want to respect the planet. You want every stage of your work to be connected with Mother Earth. To be, um, you, want, you want your work to make Mother Earth happy. You want to sell, of course. You want prosperity for yourself. But this is really beautiful because I feel you're creating a business that will benefit both you and the Mother Earth. Like you really have so much deep respect and appreciation for the Earth. 
you know that you can't exist without it and in every aspect of your being you want to give it thanks yes you you want the earth to be a wonderful place to live and you care about what you're leaving for the future generations so you start with caring for your body what you're putting into your body you really consider the whole process of create the whole process of life you really think holistically taurus this is beautiful wow i feel how very much you understand the cycle of life how very much connected you are you are grounded with your feet in in the earth you are breathing the air and you are connected with heavens right for your sacred uh, right for your uh, crown chakra so you are the being of you are the being of life you are the being of this planet and you are so deeply connected with every element of it with every cell of yours this is so beautiful taurus every part of you is connected to the creation and you have the awareness of it you have the awareness when you drink water you feel where it came from you know when you touch something you feel the connection with the land you're just so beautiful and it's just holy every day is a ho is a holy process for you you are basically this powerful change like people watch and they are like what the wow like you are making everything a ceremony i think like you really enjoy slowing down you might be shaping other people's point of view by really slowing down and celebrating every act of the day every part of the day the way you drink coffee the way you walk around your house in the bathrobe everything is a celebration your embodiment of the goddess everything you touch is holy the way you wash dishes and you move with the water the way you touch it is holy this is god is everywhere taurus god flows through you and it's just so abundant it's like gods came down from heavens and they walk the earth through you taurus it's poetry it's pure poetry it's just beauty to be around you and experience you taurus you're almost addictive we have we have the devil here but in the best possible sense you're so magnetic taurus i can feel your elegance the way you move it's like you don't even have to say anything just people are in love with you people love your presence yes look at this we have the lovers here people want to connect with you they want to be around you they experience bliss just by experiencing your energy it's just so phenomenal you are happiness taurus you are happiness yeah you are on the wings of heavens here it's like you walk but you're not really human like people might really want to like touch you are you real taurus this is amazing you're anointed you're special you have this connection with the judgment you have connection with heavens you are really um, you get signs from the spirit right away like you need to sit and med you don't need to sit and meditate or do anything deliberate to tap into the communication with the spirit you are the communication every day you know it's just no matter what kind of job you do you walk and it's holy your words really touch people deeply it's sometimes not even about the words you use it's just the way you pronounce it the way you speak the way you express the way the energy comes magnetizes from you and again we have two of cups so you might have very beautiful deep soul connections with your soul tribe um you might also enjoy people's presence just as much as they enjoy yours right mm. 
I think you might uh, really benefit from being by yourself from time to time just to establish your balance, you know, and maybe work your magic. Maybe you um, work with energy. Maybe you want to manifest something and it's just absolutely necessary, Taurus, for you to have time to yourself. I don't know, Bartolomeo. Maybe you know someone of that name. Maybe you have, someone have upset you, I feel. Maybe you had a fight with someone. Yeah, someone's energy was basically like too fast. Maybe it was air energy. Maybe something rough happened with your soulmate, maybe, or somebody. And that was a battle. That was a fight. Someone really um, upset you. So you might want to be by yourself. Um maybe something didn't work out that you had high hopes for so you might be recovering from this that can be in relation to your relation uh, to your home it can be something taurus home is very important for you you like to be in your cave you want to you like to hmm, have everything your way wherever you are and you don't like starting over okay when it comes to your home so Yes, you might be grieving some loss of some kind of environment. But um, let me see. Yeah, I think you will find your happiness. Look at that. We have Ten of Cups. We have the Empress. And we have the Wheel. Oh my gosh, maybe you'll be pregnant if, you're, if you want it. Congratulations. I think uh, there's some lack, some shift waiting for you after... This disappointment and loss so you know the angels were just preparing the ground for you um if something crumbled down it's only because something better is awaiting just around the corner okay yes we have the justice you will find balance in your life taurus i feel like you might want to also like cloak yourself from you know you're very sensitive you're so connected it's important that you um cleanse and protect your energy you know you absorb a lot you're an intuitive but it can be draining yes it can be really kind of deceiving oh my gosh look at that i feel like you um you just tap into people's heartbreak and you want to help them that you kind of um take too much from yourself okay so don't worry it's not selfish whenever something i feel like whenever you're in contact with somebody who went through something who experienced a heartbreak for example you merge with that person wholly and fully and it takes a toll on you okay so you might want to really master stand in your power and as much as you want to be of service, you need to know how to maintain your energy field for yourself, okay? So don't um, allow anybody to drain you. Not that they mean to, they don't. It just happens naturally because you're so giving. So in the future, I feel like you will know better how to master your power, how to feel good, basically, because that's what it's all about. Mm. I think it's something about the mother figure that you might, might want to reconcile with. Maybe you've been dreaming always of your mother like protecting you or something like that since you were a child. So that can be maybe reconciled. Maybe that can be explained. Maybe you'll just need to express your truth to someone from your family. Yeah, I think you've been kind of suppressing some emotions since you were a child something that was hard to express you know you just really want to genuinely truthfully assess that and face it okay you might want to face face it with hmm, more with your mind than with your emotions but i feel like you need this to feel free you might want to dance you might you might be really good at dancing mm.
I think there is a Leo that might like maybe teach you manifestation on maybe when your energy is merged. Yeah, you might want to celebrate with a friend who maybe is a Leo or maybe um, you might just want to begin something together. Mm. I feel crops. So I think you might be either actually gathering some fruit uh, like I said, you have an amazing connection with the earth, with the mother, or yeah, we have the wheel of fortune. So something can be fruitful for you. Something that you've been working on, I feel could be up to three years back, uh, might finally work out. Maybe your business. Yeah, we have um, the, the night of um, spades. So maybe something suddenly takes off, something catches the momentum something that you've been working on for more or less three years maybe it's your business maybe you can f finally become um independent right yes 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 something takes off and you've been really diligently working on it taurus you've been working on it you build it from from the foundation okay you are building it slowly, okay? That's the foundation. You are building something by yourself. It was your idea. You made it happen, okay? You are the key to that whole endeavor, to that business. It's about you, your energy, the way you do it. Maybe other people do the same thing, but the way you do it is very special, okay? Because there's your energy in it. And we have the chariot here, and I feel like it finally takes off. You um, get a profit from it, or it becomes your full-time job. Look, we have the... Mm, um ace of coins so you might uh reap financial rewards from it finally your thoughts manifest you know so it took some time i feel maybe because you weren't fully healed i feel like you had a lot of heart healing to do and when the heart fully feels then look at that ten of pentacles this is your castle this is your dream come true definitely i feel it is a business it is some sort of material endeavor and you'll be really happy about it wow you look at this seven of pentacles right you working here from down up to the top right you're working you're patient you believe in yourself you believe in your path look you proudly sit in your throne. Maybe you don't get approval. You don't get clapping hands around from your friends or family, anyone. But you believe in yourself. But do you sit with someone else? No, you sit alone, right? You believe. And what happens after a while? It takes off, right? You have still done some healing while you were working. You had to also heal yourself, okay? That's why it didn't take off immediately. But what happens now this summer? Yes, yes, Ace of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, I feel like you'll be really proud of what you've built, Taurus. I want to pull one more from the Soul Journey. I feel like people will gravitate towards you, asking you for the recipe. How did you do it, Taurus? People might regret that they didn't help you, that they didn't believe in you, okay? Maybe they think, okay, it was a mistake that I didn't work with you, but now they will want to work with you. They will want to collaborate. They will want to be your friend. There's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't have to be fake, uh, but maybe people didn't believe in that as much as you do. They didn't have the power of the vision, okay? like you do you are you are a manifestation beast taurus you can manifest anything you want you know i feel like you plant the seeds in the ground literally yes we have the growth here and with the right intention when the plant grows grows you manifest growth in your life so you do that garden magic that growth magic right you are the spiritual leader maybe for some you might have other people listen to you. You might be teaching them. But you definitely have grown your own awareness 
of your own power, of your own abilities. And I feel like you'll be applying it almost every day now, okay? Anything else for Taurus? I feel like you need to accept the failures from the past. I feel like something from the past might still be nudging you, making you sad sometimes. And I think it's okay just to look at this, at these challenges from the past and say to yourself, hey, I did my best from where I was with what I knew at the moment, okay? Maybe today I would have done better, but I just have to have compassion for myself. And now it also helped me with my purpose, right? All this hardship I went through helped me with my purpose. Now I know how to guide others if they have the same challenges. I know how to be, wow, I feel like the mother. You might be really getting ready to be a mother or feel how to be a mother and that can make you very happy. Maybe you're getting ready to have a family. I feel like all the past disappointments that you went through will help you to be a better mother, will help you to be a better partner, whatever your ambition is. But this definitely you will know how to transmute these past disappointments and it will just make you such an amazing light being. I just can feel your power and your own restoration of your being. Freedom. You have set yourself free from yourself, Taurus, I feel. You have set yourself free from not enoughness. You have set yourself free from making choices that were too small for you. You made that change, okay? You made that change in your mind. You made that change in your belief system. And look, now you only accept the Ten of Cups. You know you deserve the best, Taurus. You created your own freedom. You created your own Ten of Cups, Taurus, with the help of the Spirit, with the help of Mother Earth, that you can always tap into. Now you know it. Thank you very much and have a great rest of your day.